So, Detective Inspector White, um, how, how, are you, how are you finding the new place? Nice. Big change from Birmingham. But how's your husband taking the move? He's enjoying it. He just wanted somewhere nice to walk the dogs and somewhere to pot around in the garden. A well trained. Something like that. So, what does he do? Yeah. Anything interesting? He thinks so. He's a house husband. So, you know, I'm married. Well, it's breaking your fingers, very nice. I only assumed. It's the wrong hand, but yes, I am married. So, He's in your detective work, I see. Either that or very unsubtle flirt. How about you? Do have anyone significant at home? No, no, just uh, just me. Live with your parents? Uh, no, not anymore. Thankfully, yes, it's been a few months. So you can just about work a washing machine here? <laughs> yeah, just about. <laughs> uh, so, um... I'm sorry I'm making you uncomfortable. No, not at all, not at all. So we just take care of the kids then? We don't have any children. Oh, OK. It's a choice, then. You don't need to feel sorry for us. Oh, no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Why is it when a man chooses not to have children? It's a life choice. He's a go-getter. When a woman chooses not to have kids, somehow she's lacking. Uh, I meant nothing about it. I was just, uh, I was just trying to make a conversation. Of course. So People always are. I have still a lot to sort out before I start on Monday, so I hope we can keep this brief. I'm sure the boss can't be here today. He's a very busy man. Uh, is that me? Lucky you. Yes, indeed, yeah. OK. So how long have you been in the force? Years. You? About two now, yeah. The uh, boss saw some potential in me, and so I've been a uh, fast track to uh, inspector. Fast track. Interesting. Yes, indeed. Do women have that opportunity as well, inspector? I like to think so. We're quite progressive here. Yeah. Your track record is exemplary. Like I said, I've been following the case, following you for many years. Do you know how many female inspectors of my level there are compared to men? Nor do I, but it's an interesting question, isn't it? But I've worked very hard to earn my stripes. I tend to find that for women in this and most other industries, there's only one of two ways to make it. Either working very hard out there on your feet, or in someone's office, a superior's, on your knees or on your back. So, uh, are you looking forward to work on Monday? It should be, uh, should be interesting. Why the move here? I thought we'd move somewhere quieter. Nothing to do with the Ivor killings at all? Sorry, I've been following your case quite, uh, quite closely. Of course. It's an interesting case. Five killings, three attacks. It's quite personal for you. It looks like he was following you around, goading you. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, because well, as soon as you move, the killing seems to move with you. Do you think the, uh... So how uh, you... Having done your research, Inspector, you will have seen in the tabloids that there was a theory, of course, that the killer was somewhat goading me and following me. As you know, he kept asking for me by name whenever he was sending in messages. Who knows? Well, hopefully you the person anyway. Indeed. Hopefully we'll be having a quieter life here. Well, we can only hope. Indeed. How have you done it? <laughs>